Hello everyone, this is Almir, Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima. Uh, we are here at the cottage for this weekend. Uh, we got here Friday and uh, the weather is uh, kind of crazy, it's uh, the end of fall. Um, quite cold actually, it's about, it's only uh, about 3 grass cells, so, and quite windy too. And uh, I hope the, the wind doesn't pick it up uh, too much on the uh, on the camera's uh, microphone. So I brought out uh, uh, my uh, two elements Yagi for 10 meters and 12 meters. Um, since these two bands are really good right now and uh, and I built this antenna it was back in uh, January this year. Um, it was uh, entirely made of uh, fishing rods uh, uh, the uh, carbon fiber uh, fishing rods, uh, aluminum tape, and uh, PVC pipe. So, so if anyone is interested in to uh, to uh, to see how I built uh, and the measurements, um, you can take a look at on. Uh, I made a video back then, so you can take a look at it and, and see it. So, um, short after I built, uh, I put it away because the uh, the 10 meter bands, 12 meters. Um, around the spring it got really bad like basically it was closed so now it's their own fire again it looks like so and uh, so I did some new updates um, on the tuning part of this antenna which uh, I'll show you uh, shortly and uh, yeah so it uh, I will also uh, uh, since I got it here um, I've been operating only in uh, 12 meters uh, because of the 12 meters, I, I don't have a chance to uh, to operate it when I am at home. So since I got here, I've been operating on 12 meters. So now I'm going to uh, tune in for uh, for 10 meters and see uh, see what we get. All right. So uh, this is the tuning part of uh, each element. So for example, this one here, uh, from here where it's cut off right here words to the end so this is the the tuning that you either you push it in or you pull out so before I had this connection here this part to tuning um, using a, a piece of uh, aluminum tape uh, so the problem was uh, first the aluminum tape glue is very strong um, I would not get a good connection uh, from this this element here to the, the tip and uh, and also uh, every time you have to tune in of course you have to rip the tape it apart and that also what he, he did sometimes he used to do like you rip the the tape of this element here or either this one here underneath so that was not good so now i came up with this uh, type of connection which is uh, right here this is uh, a uh, copper uh, copper uh, strapping uh, you can buy a roll uh, it's very inexpensive I choose copper because copper is a it's a very good uh, uh, conductor so it's it, it, it has really good connections and the middle here uh, this part this wire here it's 12 gauge uh, solid copper and and then on each end there's a little bit of soldering that I, that I did right here and right here. And then on the other side, there's a, I hope it's uh, in focus. Um, I hope the wind is it's picking up quite a bit now. So sorry about that, guys. Uh, so it, yeah, so it, it tights up a, uh, with a, a bolt in and then right here on each, on each end. So, and then to tune in, you basically uh, just lose this one here, which is the, the, the tip part of the, uh, the tuning. And either you push it in or out. So right now it's at 12 meters, it's somewhere in here. So this the black mark here was at the start point. And then I, I want to go more towards to the FT8. So I just pull out about two and a half centimeters. So I know from here to here is at two and a half centimeters. So we, I can even, before I take it out after, uh, mark another uh, put another mark point here and so for the 10 meters it's this black mark here so I push all the way in 
after I lose this one here. And you just have to lose it one. So I'm going to tune in for the 10 meters uh, since I've been operating on a 12 meters uh, so far. And uh, and we see it. So yeah, so this is a it, and it actually has a very good uh, connections with this this type of connector here. Um, I measure on the uh, on the uh, multimeter and uh, right from the middle here to right to the end, it has an excellent connection. So it worked really well. Plus, it only takes like a couple of minutes to do uh, each uh, each end of uh, the element. Yeah, so this is this is it. That's the antenna. It's on the uh, uh, sorry about the shape MFJ uh, 1916 uh, fiberglass mast, and it's an awesome mast. Um, since I am raising only uh, going up to between 18 feet, 18 somewhere in there, no no higher than that because the the wind is really strong. Uh, you don't even need it actually if you secure the base really well. You don't even need it to, uh, you know, to uh, uh, set up a guides and stuff like that. I did just one and to make sure, but uh, yeah, it's an excellent uh, fiberglass mask. And uh, yeah, so this is it. This is the antenna, and uh, it's awesome. This antenna is one of one of my best. That's for sure. Because I heard people, you know, they say that once you use the Yagi, you don't you don't want to use any other antenna. And that is true. I mean, so now I'm gonna lose it uh, this part here, and we'll tune in for uh, the 10 meters. So once you lose the uh, one at the end of the straps, as you can see, it goes easy. It goes right in, and we'll get to the 10 meters. And there we go past that. And uh, with two hands, of course, it's. It's even easier than, than this because I have to hold one hand and push it in the other one. But yeah, somewhere here should be okay. Even though it's not, it's pretty close to the mark. And then you just tie it up and there we go. It's, that's, that's how easy it is. And you do each, each element, it only takes like a, a minute or so. Uh, it's a bit longer than... Uh what I was intended, but just a little bit, but I think as it is, it's even, it's okay, like that, for sure. So, 1.17, that's, that's great, that's awesome. And, uh, and there it is. I think I raised about, uh, I think somewhere in between 18 feet, somewhere in there. Time to wrap it up and uh, go home. And uh, what a great time that I had with this antenna. Uh, on FT8 it was like no stop. Uh, and uh, I got some new countries. Uh, some countries I was like chasing and called them the first time, they answered back, no problem. Which is not really the case and with my other antennas. So definitely this is one of the best antennas that I have. And um, at this point uh, the element is not collapsible because of course the uh, aluminum tape uh, uh, wrap it around. So my next project with this antenna I'm looking to come up with something that I can uh, split uh, the, uh, the elements and uh, do some uh, connections. Probably it will be uh, something uh, close uh, to what I did for uh, the tuning part. Once you start splitting the, the elements, it's, uh, it, it can become a problem uh, in terms of when you put up and then there's a little, you know, if it's windy and stuff like that, so that could be a problem. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna, that's gonna be my, my next goal with this antenna. So uh, thanks to uh, stop by and uh, I'll see you in the next one, 73.